down, folks. What I'm going to do here is a product review of a force gas boiler that we installed. And as a recap, the old boiler that was here was an 80% 90,000 BTU gas boiler. Guys, the old boiler was grossly oversized. And with gas boilers, similar to furnaces and AC units, you don't want to oversize the equipment, guys. Bigger is not always better. If something doesn't run enough, that's going to create uncomfortable conditions in the home and also the unit will run less efficient so you always want to size up um, the square foot of the house and make sure you don't always just go off of the old unit when you replace equipment always make sure you double check and take your time and make sure you know what you're putting in it's going to be adequate for heating and cooling the house now the unit that we have here is the force 03e that equates to 70,000 btus and guys this is a single um, a single zone here. There's no second floors. They have all baseboards. So I knew off the bat this customer they need a, a 115,000 BTU boiler. So 70 to 90 is nominal. But once again, guys, you don't want to crap shoot your, your BTUs. Always just double check and triple check just to make sure you just know that what you're putting in is going to work without any problems. And guys, we put we actually been using force boilers now for I want to say about two years. Force boilers are, are pretty easy to, to install and service, by the way. Inside, you have your Aquastat and your spark ignition board. Nothing fancy, um, just similar to most most new boilers. Most new boilers now are going to have some type of Aquastat and some type of spark controller. And, of course, you got your gas valve. But, guys, one thing I like about these force boilers is this adapter here on your supply. You got your pressure gauge and you got your relief valve all in one. So, guys... And I like the sweet look of these boilers as well. So for instance, my older boiler, the one we took out was about almost five to six inches wider than, than this new one here. So these are very, very compact. And like I said, this these boilers can get you in, in slim conditions. You know, if you put this in a tight um, basement or some type of closet, right now I'm like in the back room here. But like I said, we had space to work with. Um, but also guys, one thing you always want to do when you're presenting the options for replacement guys besides going over everything you know the features and benefits for customers make sure you see how the old boiler is piped because guys this is an under the slab baseboard setup here so remember guys this customer doesn't have a basement so the supply in your return goes under the slab and it comes out the house through the other side where the baseboards are but guys with forced boilers the supply and the return setup is going to be either on the left or the right. Now they give you the option. This came with the supply on, on the left and right open, but on the right side here, the optional of relocating it. Let's say my supply, my return was over here. I could have just took the plugs out and just swapped it and put the plugs on the left side. But guys, I knew my supply and return was on the left side, but guys, the supply and return always will come out of the left side of a, or the right side of a steam boiler. I mean, of the forced hot water boiler. With steam, it could be a little bit different, but with hot water forced boilers, if your old supply pipe was high up, one thing you're going to have to equate for when you, hopefully, if you're, you know, if you're planning and you're just going over how you're going to install something before you get the new piece of equipment here, especially with force, make sure you know how you're going to pipe your supply and your return because guys i've seen this before last thing you want to do is have your old boiler go up and maybe the old boiler just you know they ran the supply and your return line crazy but try not to loop your supply and your return pipes because for one that's going to make it harder for water to move through the pipes and you could eventually have air bubbles in the system so whenever i rock my and this is called skimming the boiler by the way s-k-i-m skimming the boiler pretty much means you're going to prep the boiler and you're going to game plan the easiest way to run your supply and your return. How I like to do mine is so I like to run my pipe in as simple as possible. For instance, guys, in a perfect world, if this supply, and once again, guys, this is a force 80% hot water boiler. If my supply was on the top, I would have came off and I would have got my air scoop and my expansion tank. I like putting them above the boiler. And then in, in that case, guys, if my supply pipe was higher, higher I would have just ran it higher up but guys you got to compensate and you got to adapt based on the situation unfortunately i couldn't run my expansion tank and my air scoop above the boiler so using the adapter i just kind of like kept it base level and we added our 
our ball valves on our supply and our return. But guys, like I said, just remember with these force hot water boilers, remember, steam is different. Steam, you're gonna have the pipes on the top. It's either gonna be optional left or right. But with force hot water boilers, you have to compensate for running your supply and your return on the sides of the boiler instead of on the top. So just a little caveat, guys. Like I said, you know, this is these boilers are, are very, very easy to install. And another thing is circulator pump is gonna be very, very more efficient than those um, Takeo or those 007 circulator pumps. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the 007s, but I think it's, it's very, very cool. That force gives you a high efficiency circulator pump. So that's very good. That's a good thing for you to go over with customers. If you guys are out doing estimates for boilers, make sure they know that whatever they have before with this new force boiler, you're gonna get a high efficiency circulator pump. So now the circulator pump is gonna run off a fraction of what the old pump did. And like you said, long term, it's gonna be it's gonna run way more effective and way more efficient. And of course, guys, same thing with the vent damper, brand new damper. Old vent piping was six. We ran a six by four reducer and we slapped that on there. And like I said, guys, this is just mono and mono. Um, er, er, for now on, what I'm gonna do, guys, with most of our, our heating installs, like right now, it's already September. With um, with furnaces, you already know, you know, our brand is Duquesne. But with boilers, I'll definitely want to add more product reviews on boilers. I mean, with force, it's either going to be hot water or steam. But like I said, force guys used to be Burnham. Burnham is a very, or I think it's a U.S. boiler, by the way, guys. U.S. boiler has Burnham, and he actually has force too. So like, I know a lot of customers, they could be stuck on the name. You know, hey, I want Well McLean. Why do I need a force? Force is still under that direct line of product under Burnham. And Burnham guys are, are very, very reputable, and they run like tanks, so. Under, from my experience, guys, of installing these force hot water boilers and steam boilers, I never had any issues. So, once again, guys, make sure you install it properly. When in doubt, read the manual. If the manual says, for instance, that you have to run your expansion tanks above the boiler, make sure you're here to the ins installation rules, guys, because unfortunately, what I'm showing you, your next boiler you see could be totally different, but the principle remains the same. Water is lazy. Water don't like to... <laughs> water don't like to zigzag up and down and go right back across you want to think simp in simplistic terms you want to make sure that you run your piping as, as short and simple as possible you know unless the install manual calls for more distance between two parts or between two valves so there you have it guys like i said this is a simple recap you know it's very cool with these force boilers that they give you your two-on-one setup with the relief and your TP gauge, and they also give you a high efficiency pump, circulator pump, and expansion tank. Well, I'm sorry, your air scoop and your expansion tank is so separate, you gotta get that separate. And guys, remember, this is baseboard, so like I said, you have to bleed um, the air from the system at the boiler versus with radiators. Radiators, you can bleed the air from each radiator independently from the boiler. But Guys, I, I definitely stand by force. Like you, you guys will see a lot more installations moving forward with us using force. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Peace out. I'll see you guys in the next one.